Speaker, the kidnapping of three girls in Takradi, in the Western region, is also very worrying. And the police, we understand, are working ostensibly to unveil the people behind these dastardly acts. We will again want to urge the police to speed their steps for us to come to the realization of indeed who is behind these unfortunate incidents that is threatening the security of this country. Even when the proceedings of the person being prosecuted for, uh, for, for offending any of our laws, it does not bar us as an institution into punishing that person for contempt. It is on this basis, Mr. Speaker, I humbly request you and the House to refer my colleague, the MP Farsin Centre, to the Provisions Committee so that I will there be able to provide all the videos and evidence that I believe will lead to his finding guilty and punished so that this House, our dignity and we, the way the public view us, will continue to be of honourable members, not the type that is going on and the organisers that is unbecoming of a member of parliament. We can't litigate this matter in plenary. We haven't heard what our colleague is saying and I think that we cannot allow, you know, anyone. I refer to the Privileges Committee and then we can take it from there. Referred to the Privileges Committee for consideration and report. Very unbecoming of a member of parliament for any reason under this earth to incite that any person should be beaten. And I have the video where he clearly says that in three, when you meet him anywhere, slap and beat the hell out of him. And when he comes to this premises, beat the hell out of him. If it comes to anything, I will pay. That, in my view, is clearly inciting against an innocent uh, citizen. And that should not be coming for a member of parliament. I mean, that's why I, I kept referring to one, two, three. What we will do in Parliament has nothing to do with what the police will be doing. Oboku, many, listen, many people have heard your name reporting from Parliament a number of times. Uh, they don't even know, are you tall? Are you fair? Are you dark? I mean, people don't know you. People do not know where you stay. Oboku, as I sit now, if a gun is put on my head, that should tell, I should guess where you stay. Maybe I will guess hundred times and get it wrong. If for any reason I decide to put your picture to the notice of the general public and inside and there when they meet you, they should beat you and go ahead to mention the suburb that you stay. In my view, I've aided whoever wanted to harm you. I've aided that person. Because one, I've made it easy for him to be able to know who you are, how you look like. I've been able to aid the person to know proximity, where to look for you. If I were to go looking for you in Accra, it may take me months to even locate where you probably be staying. I have to do a lot of work to be able to do that. But if someone now offers me that free, oh, you are staying at Osu. Now my search is zero to Osu. That is why, in my view, why he did, aided those who got the guy to kill. Yes, you cannot prove it, but the interesting thing is that why did he put the gentleman's picture? Why did he give the guys uh, where he stays? Why did he say that beat him, if anything comes, I'll pay? And this is a member of parliament. Even ordinary person doing this is wrong. Not alone, a member of parliament that you kill to elect us. I mean, in my view, and my prayer is that at least he should be chancing for the rest of the session. And the rest of the session is the whole of the year. So that's suspended from yeah. parliament for the So if it's sanctioned and suspended for the whole of the session, what would mean is that he will lose his immunity and that will enable other ordinary citizens who may want to take him on through the law will be able to do that. Because now to be able to report him for the police to be able to arrest him, they have to write to Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker how to yeah. when we are sitting he cannot go to court. He, I ain't getting all this impediment. When he is now an ordinary citizen all those he has threatened and all that can now have also the liberty to now go through the due process to report and then he be dealt with through the, 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 the legal system.